I think most people can remember the first time they went to a friend's house for dinner and the food tasted different, you know, and the meal was served in a different way. And that's kind of the first time in your life that you, that your eyes are open, that other people are different. Um, and I think as, you're, as you grow up and, and your circle of knowledge of the world expands, um, you, ex you learn more and more and more about the way other people eat. And uh, so learning about the world, learning about food, they're really closely connected to each other. Food is a great vehicle for understanding another culture. Um, and it, it's something that draws people in, um, especially when they find out that it tastes good. It makes them interested in the culture. Um, it's also a way for Hoosiers to learn something about the rest of the world so that we're not so insular. Um, and um, it's just, uh, it's kind of a symptom of a, a vibrant and diverse place to have a lot of different kinds of food. Migrants tend to be very closely connected with their families. And um, their businesses are family businesses in a way that American family businesses usually aren't. Um, they are devoted to um, building a family, not devoted to just making money, and uh, devoted to keeping some aspects of their culture alive. Uh, after they migrate. We thought uh, to open a restaurant. Through that, we also had to show our culture. Our culture is based on honesty and compassion. That's the Tibetan culture. And then make your food uh, as authentic as, as possible. You know, we have here Thai food, Indian, and Tibetan, so we do it as authentic as possible. Because, uh, well, I say authentic and honest possible because the world is becoming more smaller. People travel all over the world, you know. So you cannot make a Tibetan or Thai or Indian name and then make some kind of different. We cannot do that. So we we stress our authentic, and then we try not to compete with others. Tibetan cuisine is a, it's, it's unique, you know, unique taste, you know. It's, it has a, I'm sure it has an influence from uh, India too, you know, uh, other countries, but it has own kinds of recipes, uh, taste. It, it's hard to describe, you know, uh, but it, does, it doesn't have a very fatty, you know. Uh, you know it's, it's more, more like, I would say more like, really out towards organic food, you know. When this place was like uh, for lease, uh, for a while, you know, um, one of my friends said, you know, you have to get into 4th Street if you want to do something, uh, if you wanted to do a restaurant, because this is a prime location. About 20 years ago, uh, uh, I think Korean or Indian restaurants started here, you know, at 4th Street. Then uh, from then on, it just, you know, um, people came in, you know, different uh, variety. University is like uh, hosting more international students, you know. Me and myself, when I came here like 10 years ago, uh, if I want something authentic, I have to go in Indianapolis to get it, you know. Now seems to have everything here. Okay, so basically these guys were in Cincinnati before they came here and uh, they recognized the Indian population here at IU and they thought it would be a good business venture. So they, a family of three brothers, so he just came down and decided to start um, uh, a local business here. India is a spice land, you've got different flavors, different spices coming out from there. Um, uh, we love our meat as much as of the population that doesn't. There is an equal amount of the population that really j does. But um, uh, yes, we, we, there's a lot of flavor, there's a lot of richness, and um, it's great. Yeah.